Hello friends, welcome to Shikshartri. In this video, we shall again be talking about medians under the head of geometry. So let's start. So if you recall, my first video on medians had talked about few things. Now in this video, we will again be talking about medians, but now the focus in this video would be talking about the length of the medians, how to find out, out the length of the medians of a triangle. But before that, uh, if you recollect, in my first video on medians, I had talked about now these three medians, we had talked about the definition of the medians and then we had talked about these are the three medians inside the triangle which has been shown here. Okay. And thereafter we talked about all the, the we talked about the lengths of the medians being equal or unequal or any two of them being equal or all three of being unequal. So in that case, can we talk about the heights of the triangle as well? For example, if we are saying that the lengths of the three medians are unequal, in that case the triangle that is formed would be a scalene triangle, right? So can I say that there would be three heights that I can draw inside this scalene triangle what are the three three perpendiculars is what I am talking about so can I say the three perpendiculars that I am talking about because a height is basically a perpendicular only so the perpendicular that I would be drawing the length of the three perpendiculars will also be different try and find this out similarly in an isosceles triangle we can say that the length of three perpendiculars for example if I treat this as an isosceles triangle we'll be able to say that angle ABC will be equal to angle ACB in that case, the length of these two medians, the length of median BE becomes equal to the length of the median CF. Can we say eventually if I drop a per perpendicular here, the length of the perpendiculars would also be equal and the third perpendicular would be nothing but the perpendicular bisector itself, which is the median itself. So in case of an isosceles triangle, the third perpendicular that we are talking about, which is the unequal median becomes the, the height itself. And thereafter, if we talk about two different perpendiculars being dropped on these two sides, the length of those two perpendiculars should also be equal. Similarly, if I talk about an equilateral triangle, when the three medians are equal, all the three medians, henceforth the perpendiculars also that we would be dropping on three different sides from the opposite vertices, vertices will also be the same. Okay, taking this discussion forward and now the focus would be talking about how to find out the length of the medians. So for this, this, I am taking this triangle this side. So I am taking a triangle which has already been taken here but slightly a different one. So here the triangle that I have drawn here is triangle ABC in which it is already mentioned, it is already given that BD is equal to DC. Henceforth AD becomes the median. Similarly, I can talk about the other medians also as we have talked about here. But if we are able to understand this concept here, we can replicate the same thing here. Okay. So then I have dropped a perpendicular. So perpendicular from this vertex on the opposite side and the opposite side here is the line segment BC. So I have dropped a perpendicular. So can I say in triangle ABI, so we are talking about this right angle triangle. This can be divided into two parts. One is this part and the other is this part or I can say one is the, the whole triangle itself and the second part is the sub part of it. So divide it in such a way so that you are asked to find out the length of AI. Here I am suggesting you to find out the square of AI. So when I find out the square of AI, we know that perpendicular square is equal to hypotenuse square minus the base square. So we are able to do this and then we are able to establish this. Talking about the triangle ABI. So it is clearly written here. So we are able to establish what? We are able to establish that AB whole square is equal to AD square plus BD into BI plus DI. This is the first equation that we have made here. We have established this using almost the same analogy. Now what I'm suggesting here is let us talk about the other side of the triangle. So now we are talking about this side. So we are talking about the triangle ADC. Now on this we have two right angle triangles here. This side also we were having two right angle triangles. One right angle triangle was this and the other triangle was inside a right angle triangle which is this. Here in this case when we are talking about the triangle ADC we are talking about two right angle triangles with a common height which is this. So in this case again find out the length of AI square which is just like saying AC square minus CI square 
is equal to ad square minus di square do this and then finally establish this so finally you would establish ac square is equal to ad square plus dc times of ci minus di now since we already know that bd is equal now we know that bd is equal to dc so instead of dc now we can substitute bd once you have already done this now let us see what does it lead to so what i am suggesting here is add equation 1 and equation 2 when you add these two equations, you get AB square, which is just like, I mean, if I were to just explain you, AB square plus AC square is equal to twice of the median square plus BD into BC. And we know that BC is nothing but twice of BD. BC. Now, BD is nothing but uh, half of, or you can say that B BD is nothing but half of BC. So another way to understand this is if I substitute the value of BC here, BC is just like saying twice of BD, you will be able to get this equation which is AB square plus AC square is equal to twice of AD square. So from here you get the length of the median with respect to the length of the sides. So in order to find out the length of the median, for example, if I want to find out the length of the median, I need to know the magnitude. I need to know the measure of the line segments of the three sides of a triangle. If it is not given, then I cannot find out or only two sides are given. The third side is not given. You cannot find out the length of the median. I hope I have made myself very clear here. So just rejigging this, I mean, just rearranging this. Can I say AD square and BD can be written as BC by 2 whole square. So, which is just like saying the sum of the squares of these two sides. Now, these two sides are the sides which include the, the median in, inside them. Include. And this is the third side on which the median is drawn. So, let's talk about the inclusion, inclusion of the sides first. So, AB square plus AC square divided by 2 is just like saying AD square plus half of the third side whole square. Using the same analogy, I mean using this analogy, I can establish a relationship for the other medians also. Now we know that the median BE, so if I talk about the median BE, the sides to be included here are BA square and BC square. So BA square plus BC square divided by 2 is equal to the length, the square of the length of the other median plus half of the remaining side whole square. And similarly, you can establish the third. So from here, you will see that all these three things that we have talked about, these basically refer to, they refer to what? The length of the three medians as we had discussed in the first video. So we, we know how to find out the length of AD now. We know how to find out the length of BE. At the same time, we know how to find out the length of CF as well. Once you're able to do this, now let us experience something very, very interesting here. So I'm suggesting now add all these three. I mean, these are all conclusions. Just add. So when you add the left hand side, you get one by two of. So when you add the left hand sides, you are basically getting what one by two of twice of AB square and then twice of AC square and then twice of BC square. So which is just like saying what twice of and half gets cancelled. So AB square plus BC square plus AB square plus BC square plus AC square and from the other side you are subtracting one fourth of the sum. So one minus one fourth makes it how much? Three fourth of AB square plus AC square plus BC square is equal to the sum of the square of the medians. Please remember as discussed earlier also we can use all these things not only in triangles but we can use it in quadrilaterals also. So remember those four points. Which four points am I talking about? I am talking about one P which is perpendicular, another P which is parallel, third S which is similarity and the fourth C is congruency. Remember all these because these are going to help you a lot in geometry and believe me. Okay, now once you have established this, now let us see, let us try and integrate it finally with the discussion that we had with respect to the height. Now if I were to establish, to find out the heights, I can find out the heights here as well. How? Let us take a special case here as a special case of an equilateral triangle. So we know that inside an equilateral triangle, we, uh, we know that the area of an equilateral triangle is how much? The area of an equilateral triangle is half into base into height. So this becomes the height of the equilateral triangle. So now if I make this triangle as an equilateral triangle, in that case, all these medians no doubt they will remain medians only, but they will become 
साइड परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर्स ऑल्सो आई मीन दे विल बिकम परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर्स फॉर द साइड सो इन दैट केस ऑल दीज थ्री आई मीन ए डी नो लॉन्गर रिमेन्स अ मीडियन ओनली इट बिकम्स एन एल्टीट्यूड एज वेल सिमिलरली बी ई नो लॉन्गर रिमेन्स अ मीडियन ओनली इट बिकम्स एल्टीट्यूड एज वेल द सेम फॉर सी एफ सो नाउ इफ आई स्क्वेर दिस स्क्वेरिंग दिस इज जस्ट लाइक सेंग वॉट so the the right hand side so one such square is this three such squares because the length of all the three medians of an equilateral triangle are equal i mean is length is the same so i can say this is nothing but 3 times of 3a square by 4 this should equate to the left hand side so let's say that the side of an equilateral triangle is a as we had assumed here so how much is a square plus a square plus a square 3a square so we are saying what 3 by 4 of 3a square Please see a very beautiful inference or conclusion we can have here, right? I hope these two videos helped you to develop and become progressive with medians because I feel that medians, as we had discussed earlier, also is one of the geometric centers and other geometric centers we will talk about in other videos in the subsequent videos. So this is going to be really helpful. If you feel that something very very different and very innovative and very knowledgeable has been discussed, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. If you have already done so, click on the bell icon and select all so that you start receiving updates from us regularly. If you want, for I mean, if you want that we should do some special videos on some special topics, please put it in the comment section. Thank you so much. Until next we meet. Goodbye.